Now they are one of Japan's greatest cultural exports. The Oscar-winning Studio Ghibli's distinctive animated feature films have a host of devoted fans across the globe. Now in a world first, its animated movie My Neighbor Totoro has been adapted by the Royal Shakespeare Company for the stage. Our culture editor Katie Razzle has been to the Barbican in London for an exclusive peek of the production, which has puppetry at its heart. Just an old house. There's no sign of Totoro in our sneak preview of this show. The RSC is keeping the mysterious creature befriended by two children under wraps. The only puppets on this stage right now are the so-called soot sprites. And working with puppets is so much fun. Mm. Uh, they're so funny and they're so cheeky, a lot of them, and they really do have a life of their own. Yeah, you're talking about them like they're real people. They're, they're they like are. people. Yeah. They are. <laughs> My neighbour Totoro has never been staged before, but for more than 30 years, this hand drawn animation has been one of the most loved films to have come out of Japan's equivalent of Disney, the renowned Studio Ghibli. <laughs> With legions of global fans, there's a lot riding on the new show, not least how to replicate the magical furry Totoro. This is our backstage puppet workshop where we're still... Puppet designer Basil building, Twist, who devised the Dementors in the Harry Potter films, isn't giving much away. So you're showing me chickens. I want to see Totoro. <laughs> right, well, you'll see chickens for now. <laughs> we're still keeping Totoro under wraps so that people can find the surprise of him when they come see the show. There are clues from Los Angeles, where Basil created the Totoro puppet and others, with the company behind the Muppets, Jim Henson, in a real East meets West collaboration. I would keep in touch with the Japanese as I went, and they're very specific about Totoro's eyes, needs the distance between his eyes and the shape of his head and how that works. Because once you come into a three-dimensional world, it's very different than a 2D world. What's not different is the music and the man behind it. The celebrated Japanese composer who persuaded the studio to allow this adaptation, showcasing Japanese heritage for a new audience. We have our own musical, own culture. So this is very important for me. To show the world? Yes. You saw the production last Very night. Spirit. Yes. What did you think? Great show. Spectacular. So there is a daunting aspect of bringing something totally new and the adaptation of it being new on stage. To be bringing this treasure of Japanese culture to the stage, um, yeah, it's been one of the privileges of my life. We all love the film. I mean, m most of us grew up with it. Please get well soon. But will this magical fantasy cast a spell on theatre audiences as it has on screen? Katie Razzle, BBC News. Let's catch up with the weather.